offers behind the line. Three, two, one, go! As we kick off qualification match number 18 here at IRI, robots exiting their community looking for extra game pieces in addition to those they had preloaded on their robots. Checking out the status of their grid, Red Alliance has two up top, one on the floor. Blue Alliance has four up top, one mid. So that's a big Blue Alliance advantage here as we get to work in Teleop. 46 to 36 with drivers now in control. Both alliances able to dock and engage during autonomous for 12 points apiece. That brings them close to the 26 points they will need in order to get that activation bonus at the conclusion of the match due to the scores from the robots up on those charge stations. We have seen it very frequently here at IRI so far, but it is not a guarantee. These robots getting to work. We see a toss over from the Red Alliance. That's Midnight Inventors with their manipulator, allowing them to unload those cubes extremely quickly and even launch them up like a projectile toward those middle or top rows on their grids. 51 for the Blue Alliance Wings of Fire. They enter back into their community with their elevator arm, dropping off three points for the Blue Alliance, their partner's strike zone. Rather make that Fabricators and Strike Zone now, both of them dropping off cones on those poles in the outer grid for the Blue Alliance. Under one minute remaining in the match now, Blue Alliance still with the lead, three links established for their side of the field. Just one game piece is needed for two additional links over on Blue. Checking in on red, that floor section of the grid is very nearly full, just two cubes missing there as well. We also have some cubes piled up to double if they are able to score nine links and get a supercharged node that could be an additional three bonus points for the red alliance. Krypton Cougars for red, they do establish a link, adding a five point bonus for that red score. They do still trail though here with 35 seconds remaining, eight points separate these teams. Both teams have achieved the sustainability bonus. Seven links over on red, six links over on blue. It looks like red might be trying to pick up one more link. That's Mars Wars, 41-43 for the Red Alliance. They've got a cube. They do place it though on the floor, tripling up some space in that co-op grid. Now they join their alliance partners. Six robots up on the charge station, 30 points apiece as time counts down here in qualification match number 18. A very exciting match, but in the end, a full grid and supercharged nodes take the win for the Red Alliance, 195 to 174. Four ranking points for that Red Alliance, two for the Blue Alliance, both sides of the field, achieving the activation and sustainability bonus ranking points.